More than 90% of U.S. households now have cell phones. A medical group now says there is credible evidence linking cell phone use to cancer. But will it, should it affect how you and I use a cell phone? Well, they need something more definitive as far as I'm concerned. I'm not necessarily convinced that it's a problem, but I'm certainly concerned by it. A division of the World Health Organization has pooled all of the available data on the subject and says there is limited but credible evidence linking cell phone use and brain tumors called gliomas. But just like the classic childhood game of telephone, the key message often becomes muddled. While the World Health Organization has now classified cell phones as possibly carcinogenic, the cell phone industry points out coffee and pickled vegetables are also classified as such and says, quote, this does not mean cell phones cause cancer. But some experts wonder about the long-term effects of electromagnetic radiation on children's developing brains. Their skulls are thinner, and as a consequence, these effects may be somewhat more robust in children. There doesn't seem to be any increased risk when a phone is held away from the head, and many young mobile phone users let their fingers do the talking. I don't usually talk on the phone too much. I usually just text. Texting using the speaker or an earpiece could help reduce any potential risk if you're concerned.